Many writing students say they come to our program looking for discipline. The word discipline carries with it two meanings. The old English root refers to mortification of the flesh, whipping yourself. The older Latin root has to do with instruction. My hunch is that students want both. They want to be taught, and if they don't do what they're supposed to, they want to be punished. As a teacher, I'm not here to punish, and as a writer, I think that suffering comes on its own. No need to go looking for it. <laughs> Instead of the word discipline, I like the word practice. Fifteen years ago, the critic and writer Hilton Alls told me about Toni Morrison's practice when she first started writing. She put in full days as an editor at a major publisher. When she got home, she put her kids to bed, and then she wrote. At the time, I didn't have a busy job or kids, so for six months, I made myself write every morning. I wasn't practicing writing, I was practicing sitting in front of a computer and producing words. At the end of the six months, I taught myself that if I sat, the words would come. They always do, because the mind is always chattering. These words add up, but a collection of words doesn't make a story, let alone a book. Practice, though necessary every time, is only the road that takes you to the edge of the cliff. I'm currently writing a novel, and that's where I am now, the edge. I'm scared, and I'm staring down at what happens next. Thanks.